And let me just go ahead and say this. If any part of this video makes you upset, you probably have some growing to do within yourself and you know, just come back and reference this video when you're ready to do that. But yeah. We untouchable, uncrushable. We untouchable, uncrushable. everybody welcome back to this week's episode of dapper diane so it's a beautiful day as you can see i'm outside i'm kind of worried that it's this nice outside in november about to be december but i'm not gonna complain if this is your first time here my name is dorothy thank you for tuning in go ahead turn on your post notifications like comment if you want to but make sure you do all that at the end of the video for sure okay so this video we're kind of gonna get into like no nuance November <clears throat> and you've been seeing that on TikTok if you're on TikTok um and I'm gonna do a parenting edition this time and mind you you know we're about to go into a new year so hopefully this allows um or encourages parents to be more introspective and reflective on their parenting because we all have room to grow so yeah and let me just go ahead and say this if any part of this video makes you upset you probably have some growing to do within yourself and you know just come back and reference this video when you're ready to do that but yeah i want to say although me and myself i'm not a parent I think we can all speak from the perspective of we've all been in the child's position and there were obviously things that our parents did that we learned from and we said that okay I'm not gonna do this when I have my own kid so although I don't have kids myself yet I'm speaking from that perspective and so this is just offering my honest criticism on some parenting things that I notice a lot of my peers and a lot of children speak on so let's get into it first things first go to therapy I don't think y'all understand as parents I don't think parents understand how detrimental they can be to their children when they don't go to therapy because um, like everybody else of course everyone's going through some things everyone um, has their own demons but oftentimes I find that parents try to put up this facade of everything's okay or I need to be the strong one I need to act like nothing's wrong when everything's falling apart you're falling apart on the inside and then that's also affecting your kids you're indirectly taking it out or directly taking it out on your kids and that shouldn't be the case we all have our trauma but at the end of the day it is your responsibility to fix it. That's the car. But um, yeah, it's your responsibility to fix it. So go to therapy, parents. Um, if you can afford to, if you can find a good therapist that you trust, please do that. Um, number two, and this one might upset some of y'all, but respect is a two-way street. Respect is a two-way street. Um, I think a lot of times we as children feel that a lot of our parents demand respect simply because they are the parent, but they forget that, hey, like, although, yes, I am your child, I'm a whole human being as well. Like, I, I don't know how else to say it, but y'all, please be mindful of the way that you speak to your children. Please be mindful of the way that you think of your children because there's some things that parents have said that have scarred their children for years, if not their lives. Because y'all have said some really disrespectful things that you shouldn't say to anyone, but especially of all people, your own child. Um, so yeah, respect is a two way street. Number three, the saying of if mom ain't happy, ain't nobody happy, mm-mm, mm-mm, that needs to stop. And for me, my thing is 
like I said earlier with point number one, everybody has their own demons. I understand being a mom isn't easy. Being a parent isn't easy. Life is not easy. But at the end of the day, just because one person isn't happy, that doesn't mean you have to ruin everyone else's day. Like Auntie Tab says, have a good day. I can't say it verbatim. Have a good day. But if you're not having a good day, don't you dare go messing up somebody else's. Okay? All right? All right, moms? Let's let's stop doing that. If you're not happy, sis, let's reflect and figure out why we're not happy. Handle that. But don't take it out on the whole family, okay? Everybody don't got to be mad just because you're mad. Um, number four. Now, this is a big one. Stop saying, I feed you, I clothe you, I... X, Y, and Z, because that is the job that you signed up for. The moment that you decided that you were going to have a kid, that's the job that you signed up for. Please stop holding that over your children's head. If that is something that you wanted to keep tick for tally, then maybe we should we, we should reevaluate bringing kids into the world and then holding it against them when you signed up for this. This is your job. This is what you signed up to do, okay? So let's stop saying that. Um, number five. Hold on, the sun is moving. There we go. Number five. Saying because I said so or because I'm the parent is not as effective as you think it is. And I say that in the sense of one, I, I think for me, that's something that I heard a lot as a child. And questioning is not disrespect. It's just being inquisitive. That's what it is. And I think a lot of times just answering the question or just having an explanation will give you greater understanding than just saying, oh, iron fist, I'm the parent, this is what it's going to be. A lot of times, the explanation will give you deeper insight and a better understanding and better respect because like, oh, now I can understand your perspective, your perspective. I see where you're coming from. I know why you're doing this now. It makes sense. Okay, so let's try to implement that more as opposed to complete authoritative saying, oh, just because, because I said so, because I'm the parent. Um, Number six. Stop expecting your child to be the bigger person. I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but here we are. Stop expecting your child to be the bigger person. You are literally the bigger, older person. You are the parent. You are responsible. You created the child. You should want to have a healthy relationship with your child. And if it's not healthy, you are the parent. Literally make it right with your kids there's so many peers that i know i'm sorry i'm trying to get in the light there's so many peers that i know that are forced to be the bigger person with their parent that makes no sense it, it makes no sense so that's what i gotta say about that one um ooh, number seven is a really good one confronting you about your harmful behaviors is not disrespect y'all it's not disrespect you just as much as i am as a child you are human you're going to make mistakes you're going to be wrong you are flawed so when your child comes to you about your harmful behaviors and mind you of course yes we can implement healthy and good ways to describe or communicate what you're feeling but at the end of the day being truthful and being told about your harmful behaviors is nowhere disrespect okay so let's take the time to be honest with ourselves and to be reflective on oh, the sun has gone away i'll be back here we are um yeah just be just be real with yourself um to know that you are still you are still flawed and you don't always have it all together um 
and sometimes you know we all we all have the ugly nasty sides to us so of all people that should be truthful or real with you i would hope that you would want it to be your kids so there's that number eight i feel like i keep saying this every time this is a good one this is a good one because they're all really good ones but number eight is learn how to communicate your feelings without resulting or resorting to yelling or hitting once again i don't know why i have to explain this but it goes back into that whole authoritative iron fist type feeling um and i think that like if you go to your job as a parent if you go to your job and your superior is critiquing you on something how are you going to receive that critique when they're yelling and or god forbid they try to hit you and of course yes that's a different relationship but it's still the understanding that there's someone over you that is your superior or someone that is a figure that you're supposed to respect because they are in a higher position than you you wouldn't accept that so if you wouldn't accept that from a stranger why would you want to impose that on someone that is your own blood okay so let's try to find ways that we can healthily in a healthy manner give constructive criticism without having to resort to yelling and or hitting let's see Ooh, number nine transparency is key transparency is key y'all like i said before we aren't as parents you aren't going to be perfect you're still human you are still flawed you don't know everything um and you aren't always right okay and that's perfectly okay like no one is expecting that no child is expecting that of you but understand that I can't as a child and as many of my peers as children um, have stated there's so much more understanding and grace and respect on our end when we can see that oh wow like my parent makes mistakes too and they own up to it that is such a beautiful thing to see and I know for me like just in about my last semester of college I was talking to one of my professors and then she interrupted me and then she stopped herself she was like I'm sorry I interrupted you and I was just like an adult apologizing to me huh like and it it, it shouldn't be that way it shouldn't be that 20 at 21 years old that's the first time I'm hearing and she was especially as black people which that could be a whole nother video within our own community but it shouldn't be that at 21 years old I am shook that an, uh, that an adult apologized to me I'm just not that's not healthy y'all so and like I said this isn't I'm speaking from personal experiences but this is also something that I've seen with a lot of people my age and with a lot of children and it shouldn't be that way y'all like the same way that you would want your child to be transparent with you or you should and be honest with you and to own up to their wrongs is the same way that you need to return that energy and i promise you the respect for you goes 10 times further because it's reciprocated energy number 10 i feel like this is the best one this is for some of us that may have not have children yet or are planning to but number 10 is if you have strict limitations on how your child can exist who or what they can be you do not need to have kids let me repeat that again if you have strict limitations on how your child can exist who or what they can be you do not need to have kids and I say this because although yes you are creating that child you are bringing them into this world they are they own they're their own person at the end of the day their life is not for you to live through let them be who they are and if you cannot handle that you shouldn't be having kids okay all right so that is the end of my spill we're going into a new year so i want to start 
you know, us being a little bit reflective, being a bit more introspective. And I think my challenge for this video, parents, if you're watching this, I want you to ask your children and be prepared for the answer. If you're not prepared for the truthful, honest answer, once again, maybe come back to this video in a little bit later or wait to ask this question. But parents, I want to challenge you to ask your kids, can you be honest with me? Okay. And hopefully this promotes some growth. This promotes some healing. This promotes some challenging within family dynamics that have been unchecked for decades or however long. But yeah, that's my, that's my spill y'all. I will see y'all next week. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.